Good morning, Cross Culture family. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I just want to wish you guys a happy Sunday. Um, wherever you're at in your homes, I just ask that you use this time um, to just sing your heart out and let's just glorify and sing praises to his holy name. Amen. Oh, me. 
Happy Sunday again. It's amazing to have you join us. Once again, if you have any praise reports or prayer requests, please enter them into the comments below. As always, uh, we'd love that you are joining us for this live stream today. It's a blessing and honor to be able to be with you, and especially in your homes or in your cars or wherever you're at this morning. I wanted to be able to share a verse with you from Matthew chapter 16, verse 13 through 16. It says, When Jesus came to Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples this question, What are the people saying about me? The Son of Man. Who do they believe I am? They answered, Some are convinced you are John the Baptizer. Others say you are Elijah, reincarnated, or Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. Verse 15, But you, who do you say that I am? Jesus asked. Simon Peter spoke up and said, You are the anointed one, the son of the living God. I feel what, like with everything that we have right now, especially with, with so many services online, so much things in the news, so much things in our social media platforms and feeds and everything else that is going on, I feel like God is asking the same question to us. First, who are other people saying that I am? And for some of us, we're, we're heavily influenced and swayed by everything that everyone else is saying. But at the end of the day, it's always going to come back to the same question. God is always asking us, who do you say that I am to each and every single one of us individually? And I think it's important for us, especially as we go into this time of pastoral prayer, for us to be able to take a moment and just ask ourselves who Jesus is to us. Yes, we are in different seasons, but Jesus is, yes, he might be, going through this or we might be going through that but Jesus is the same yesterday today and forever he's never changing and I think he's asking us that same question do we have that same passion for him do we have that same yearning desire to be able to get to know him or are we satisfied with how everyone else describes him are we satisfied with everyone else's experiences that we like hearing about but at the end of the day we have to be able to come and know Jesus for ourselves. And so just as we are in our homes, I want to be able to just encourage, or wherever you're at, I want to be able to just encourage you to stand if you, if, you're sta if you can stand. And I want to be able to just ask everyone to just lift up our hands. Just as a sign of surrender, and most importantly, for us to be able to just be vulnerable before God at this time. For our hearts to be open, for our hearts to be exposed to everything that God wants to be able to do in and through our lives. Father God, there are so many things that are trying to be able to, to strive for our attention. There are so many things that want to be able to, to grasp us, Lord. Every notification on our phone, every sound that we hear, everything that is happening, every noise that is out there, every voice that wants to be heard, every idea and thought that wants to be able to rest in our minds and in our hearts. But we just want to be able to come before you, Lord, and just take a moment to just allow ourselves to be able to just hear that still small voice, Lord. To be able to know, Lord, that despite what everyone else is saying, despite what everyone else's experience or everyone else's opinion is, at the end of the day, Lord, it's going to come back to our own personal relationship with you. And Lord, I feel like at this time, you are asking us, Lord, each individually that same question. Who do you say that I am? Over and over, you want to be able to get past the noise, get past the distractions, and ask us once again, who do you say that I am? Father God, we want to be able to come before you today. And we want to be able to know for ourselves, Lord, that you are the Messiah, the Son of the living God, the one that is worthy of all honor and all praise. Lord, we want to be able to know for ourselves. We, we want to be able to take that journey and that step toward knowing you once again. And so, Father, just as with our, our hands lifted up, Lord, just as a sign of surrender, we continue to welcome you into our hearts and into our lives. We want to be able to give you, Lord, everything that we have. We want our hearts to be empty, Lord, and we just ask that heaven would be open before us. Just asking that you would fill us, Lord. 
that you, do, that you would allow us once again to have that hunger, Lord, and that desire to be able to know you more on a personal level, Lord. Besides the superficial, God, and just have a deeper relationship with you. Lord, again, just as we listen and prepare our hearts for this message, we just ask and pray, Lord, that we would see Jesus in everything that we do and everything that we hear, and we just invite Holy Spirit to just do what only you can do in and through our lives. Father God, we thank you once again for all that you are doing. We continue to pray, Lord, for you to be upon us. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you all. Have a great Sunday. Good morning, Cross Culture Church, and thank you for joining us online. We want to thank you for your continued support in the ministry. There are a few ways where you can continue to do so. One, you can go to the crossculturechurch.org and click the word give. Second, you can text the word give to 424-292-2600. And you can also send us a check by mail to 9659 Balboa Boulevard, Northridge, California, 91325. And thank you for following our Sunday sermon series entitled From the World to the Word, engaging current issues with God's timeless truths. This will help us be faithful followers of Jesus during these challenging times. We're sure you're enjoying our weekly small group gathering through Zoom. Our study on the unshakable truth continues. In these crucial times, the study helps us fasten our beliefs on our current identity as a church how we can be relevant to the current times and how we can achieve our purpose, right? Yes, definitely. This is a spiritual goldmine for every Christian and we hope you'll continue to join us. Lastly, we hope your kids can join us every Sunday for Kids Connect classes on Zoom at 9.30. That's all for now. Be safe, everybody.
We hope you're blessed by this message. And if you have any prayer requests, please send them to us at prayers at the cc.church.com. See you again next week. And don't forget to send the link to your friends and family. And remember this, you are loved and prayed for. God bless and be safe.